<coughs> Honorable Member for Combo East. Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. Uh, I wish to take this opportunity to thank all members who spoke before me. And I believe uh, I'll be very brief in my submission because uh, a lot has been said. Notwithstanding, Honorable Speaker, the current economic situation in the Gambia seems to be in limbo, citing the fact that uh, there should be economic classification based on the nature of the government expenditure. Honorable Speaker, the total expenditure, which is expected to be $24 billion. Currently, the debt service, Honorable Speaker, projected to $4.6 billion, and the capital expenditure is $2.5 billion. The, the development expenditure is 13.9, and the GLF component is 2.4. Really, that should be a physical discipline in this country. Honorable Speaker, the government should invest more on productive sector in order to have a sustainable macroeconomic sustainability in this country. Honorable Speaker, considering the fact that um, a lot has been said with regards to the allowances, if you go to the Ministry of Defense, particularly the, the, the transport allowances, from 2019 it was 18 million and 2020, 116 million. There is a quite significant difference. I think the minister would be definitely in position to explain the reason why. Honorable Speaker, it is quite amazing for one to actually understand that the, the budget allocations Uh, it is quite incredible for one to uh, believe. I believe the government should encourage the public-private partnership in order to become economic viable. Considering the fact that um, the Ministry of Health, there are a lot of um, reductions on certain program lines, I think the ministry would be in a better position to explain the reason why. Because I understand that uh, like uh, the National Pharmaceutical Services, from 2019, 122 million to 105, that is a significant reduction. I think the ministry would be in a better position to explain the reason why. Notwithstanding, Honorable Speaker, absolutely a lot have been said, but uh, no need to repeat all those things that have been said here, and uh, I believe we're going to repeat each other here. But really, it's a cause for concern. That's why I said there should be a physical discipline in terms of economic, and in terms of this budget. So the, I believe uh, more has been done, but more needs to be done. And on that note, I thank you all, and I believe a uh, more vibrant economic approach needs to be done in our, in, in, in our, in our financial system. Thank you very much.